Hi everybody, it's Kim from JustWords.ca again, and we're here to show another super cute image. I couldn't resist this image. I shouldn't be buying any more images because I have thousands and thousands of them, but this is a Tiddly Inks image, and I just couldn't resist because of the cute little dragons. Aren't they adorable? So we're going to color this one up and see how she turns out. So again, I'm starting with the skin colors, and I've got Coral, Sunkissed Pink, and Blush. And we're going to start on our skin. I use Nina Solar White Cardstock. If you love, if your style of coloring is lots and lots of layering, this may not be the best paper for you. I find it doesn't take tons and tons of color. I'm going to get my sun kissed pink out. I really love this color combination. I find it's very soft, kind of peachy looking. She's got one eye covered, so it's, um, we're going to get that blush out. You have to kind of guess where her cheek is. Now if you want her face even lighter than this, you can just use your blender pen in the lightest area and it will give you even a lighter tone. But I always tend to use the same one. I, I like it. And in coloring that's all that matters. As long as you like it, all is good. So we've got her arms here, they're very small, so you're, if you want to layer your colors here, just be very minimal, you want to get that blush on there, if you want to skip your sun-kissed pink you can just to keep her skin tone consistent with her face. And then she's got a hand wrapped around this cute, adorable dragon. I'm really trying to think here what color I want to do those dragons in her little outfit. Mm -hmm. At first I thought I was going to do red outfit and then the dragons I just might do that I don't know just don't want the dress to outshine the dragons because I think they're just so so cute but I'll do her hair and we'll see what strikes my fancy here. I did, I think I put a little bit on that um, strapping, but we'll color over that as we move along. Okay, so now for her hair, I think I'm going to leave it blonde. So I've got my cocoa, um, mustard, and buttercup. I'm going to try and do this hair. Now it is a large area for her hair, so I'm just going to try and work on little sections here. And I'm just going to use the, if you can go straight up and down, you'll, you will get a nice cleaner um, line. I just find coloring like this for you is a little harder to see. So I'm kind of on the side, which causes me to have a larger, quite a larger stroke than I want. So um, you can get nice, minimal 
lines. If you like. Uh, it's a little more on the browner side than I wanted, but that'll have to do. So we will work on this section here. Which is in behind, so it's going to definitely be darker. handed with that cocoa but I still think it'll turn out cute I'm just adding a few lines just to add a little more dimension to that hair but it's not needed if you don't want to have that in there it's no big deal do what feels natural to you Everyone's funny. Everyone sees things differently. You can have somebody look at the same picture and see something completely different from somebody else. Which is adorable when you see a lot of these images colored up. How many different amazing combinations you can get. Just from one single image. Now as you see I have a lot more darker on here than on this side. So I'm going to add, add some more brown. other section here. This nib is going to cause me some grief, I see. Have to turn it upside down here so I can are not very steady today, that is for sure. last night. Lost an hour sleep and coming off of midnight so it was kind of a little rough for me this morning. I ended up getting up way too early. For my liking anyway. percent loving how my hair is turning out but I think we can make it work
of mustard. I may have done a little bit too much here because I see my ink has dried a bit so it's a little harder to blend. So as you can see, I ended up with a little bit more brown hair than blonde. I've just got a little, few little blonde highlights. I think it uh, it's passable, I guess. Well, it'll have to be because that's what it ended up. Okay. I didn't even see this little bit poking down here. Putting the two colors underneath there and here. I just want to add. Just in certain areas, a little more depth here. I'm just just trying to make it appear that it's layered a little bit more. I'm just adding that little bit of depth in certain areas. Mostly where she has those lines. Now, if you want a little more depth than what I have here, you can totally grab some uh, walnut, will pop that out as well. Again, you'd have a little less, it'll be more brown, but you may like that look. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with that. Okay, let me move some of these colors out of my way and I am think I'm gonna go red so let's grab my reds um, you all know I like burgundy crimson and lipstick red so we are going to do the darkest part of the dress in that color We're starting with that burgundy uh, oh she's got a little piece of arm back here I'm just gonna get my coral it's gonna be in the dark spot so I'm just got my coral there um, and this is the burgundy, and we're going to get that crimson, and then we're going to get that lipstick red, and then we'll do the bottom of the dress here, same. 
burgundy. Crimson. doing some non-traditional colored dragons instead of the normal green just to make it a little fun okay and I'm going to do her just gonna get the crimson and lipstick red to do the band in her hair again it's very small it doesn't need much color And I'm not sure about her braid here. I want to have it wrapped in a color. I'm just not sure what color. I think I am going to do this tail though. And there's some color of her hair. But it'll have it wrapped. I'm almost thinking it should be the red. Um, because I did her band across her hair. So that's what we're going to do. Red it is. Super cute. Okay, so hmm, I'm thinking we need red shoes. So let's get the shoes going here. with your reds if you really press down too hard with your reds you're going to get a lot of bleeding outside the lines red's a very strong color and it's hard to clean up so just to be aware okay and i'm just going to get that crimson and do her strips just one color they're very small want to add cheating you can it's just going to be a little harder to have a very steady hand good eyes super cute okay so let's work on these little dragons i think the little bottom one here i'm going to do turquoise and pink uh purple turquoise and purple so we're going to get my um Petrol blue I have turquoise and I have cool aqua and I have aubergine purple and orchid I'm gonna try and um, put a little bit of color of each on here so we're gonna get that petrol I'm gonna do this little dragon primarily the turquoise color He is quite small. Get that turquoise out here. Okay, that cool aqua is next. Okay, 
now let's get his little face. I'm not doing putting trying to put too much petrol in there. It's kind of a blue green color. Get that cool aqua. Crazy cute. Okay, got his little arms. Okay, now we've got our aubergine. Do that minimally. <laughs> and his tummy is so very small. I'm just going to put that purple on there and on his horns. I'll do the same. I'll put the aubergine. Just not enough room here. I got a little bit outside the line there, so we're just going to get that blender pin and push it back in. A little bit here as well. I see I left out one of his feet. Let's color that up. Now he's got little kind of like bat wings behind his little horns here. So I think I'm going to not do them purple because I got a little purple backing up, purple and purple. So I'm gonna do the cool aqua here. And I might just add that little bit of turquoise here, a little bit of shading. Now, I think I'm just gonna color this little nose there. Okay, how adorable. So now I'm going to do the opposite colors on the one on top. So let's do his face. And the aubergine purple. I don't want him too dark, so I'm just going to go up to his nose with the purple and then the orchid the lightest on top so he's not too dark. His little body. His claws. So not only did I purchase this little guy, I ended up getting one that has a bunch of cats on it. I just think it's uh, a girl with cats. It's really, really sweet. Let's get the wings here in this turquoisey color. I need a little bit of that marine here, or petrol blue, sorry. Can use marine too. I actually I thought I had grabbed that marker, but I got petrol blue, so that's what I went with. Marine is a nice dark complementary color as well with the turquoise. little extras behind his ears and then we've got his tail wrapping around her here I'm not sure 
sure what color I want to do her dress, the top part of her dress. I was thinking of brown. Um, huh. Brown, maybe black. I'm thinking black. So I'm going to get my black, my ice gray four, five, sorry, and ice gray three, I think is all I need for there. Dark here. Three, five. And I like that better. Okay, so now for the leashes. Um, I might put red. Seeing as I've got black here, I might put red around her waist. There's really no rhyme or reason why I'm doing these colors, it's just I'm kind of a matchy-matchy type girl and I like to have everything kind of match, so I'm just retarded that way. Okay, so I all I have left is this cute little leash and I'm thinking a dark brown will fit the bill for that. But it's against her. Oh, you know what? I have to color behind here too. Her hair is back here. it in. Is that mustard? Yeah, I couldn't leave that white. Because you know her hair is way over here, so it has to go in behind there. Oh my goodness, I'm just not sure on that leash. You know what? It's going black. changed my mind from the brown because of her hair. I didn't want it to look too, too similar. And again, this is real small, so I'm just putting black and ice gray five. I'm trying to be very careful not to go out of the lines too bad. I'm gonna have to start making bigger cards to make these images bigger. Okay, there she is. I see I got a little bit of hair color on her face. I am going to grab my blush and just recolor that. I don't like how that happened. Now what happens is this was totally dry. Sorry, lost my time there. This is totally dry, so you're gonna have to go over the whole thing with your blush. And if you end up losing some of the definition that you want, you have to kind of go over it again. But that's what happens when you make little errors. So we'll just, we try our best and have to work with what, with what happens here. There's no do-overs in my world. I don't, I try not to have to 
do too much. Like I never throw out a colored image. I either if there's a part I don't like, other than the face, I crop it out or whatever, so I can still use the image. So here she is, a super cute image from Tiddly Inks. I hope you go take a look at the cute little images they have. And um, thank you very much for stopping by, and take care. Bye now.